Pythia and uh, now we learn uh, very 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 danger parasite it is a Toxoplasma gondii Toxoplasma gondii uh, first of all we must know a morphology it is a very small intracellular parasite and uh, uh, we form this from four to six uh, to six uh, nano meters so it is very 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 small parasite and it has I call it one canoid canoid this <coughs> special uh, structure of Toxoplasma gondii itself and its help uh, to Toxoplasma it helps uh, helps Toxoplasma to connect to uh, another cell for example to hepatocyte a cell of liver and uh, after conoid we can see a rope trees rope trees it is special structures of Toxoplasma gondii cell it has a digestive protein and this digestive protein helps uh, to rope trees to come inside uh, the cell of our organism and as a regular uh, eukaryotic cell this cell has a nucleus 2 and mitochondria mitochondria some another structure of uh, regular cell uh, eukaryotic cell okay uh, 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 this parasite has uh, some different uh, life forms uh, in its uh, life cycle first i call a pseudocyst what is a pseudocyst pseudocyst it is a form of uh, life cycle parasite it this form uh, of toxoplasma gondii when this parasite live and hide inside uh, a cell it is an intracellular form of uh, living in life cycle of this parasite it's call uh, what is a pseudocyst? Uh, pseudocyst uh, it is when uh, the endozoid or another name of endozoid tachyzoid hide inside uh, cell of our organism for example hepatocyte hepatocyte uh, the next uh, one or life cycle form it is a trophozoid what is a trophozoid trophozoid it is uh, what th this is a trophozoid uh, it is a free living form and we can find this living form inside uh, our uh, uh, inside our uh, uh, cardiovascular system or uh, another uh, outside the cells outside the cells inside the body wherever you can find it the third living form it is a cyst uh, we have a pseudocyst and this is a true cyst what has a cyst cyst has a very fat shell very fat shell and inside this shell we can find a uh, cystozoids cystozoids or brachyzoids and these three forms we can see inside uh, host inside host and this is uh, middle host and this form is this all forms uh, can uh, multiple 
by asexual uh, multiplication. Uh, okay, and the last one, the fourth, is uh, oat cyst. Oat cysts we can find on or inside uh, uh, cats. This is the last host or sex type host where uh, uh, where is happen a sex uh, form of uh, toxoplasma gondii and it, it contained two sporozoids two sporozoids inside one oocyst and inside uh, one of sporozoids we can find uh, four uh, or sporocyst, excuse me, we can find four sporozoids. And as you can see, in two sporozoids, we can see eight, uh, two sporocysts, I'm sorry, again, we can find eight sporozoids, space sporozoids. And uh, why this uh, uh, parasite is so dangerous? Uh, first of all, this parasite is so dangerous because this parasite, all living form of this parasite, can infect a human. Pseudocyst can infect human, trophozoid can infect, can, can infect human, and the cyst and oocyst too. All this form are infected for our organisms. Uh, okay how to infect first by uh, undercooked infected meat and this meat this meat must uh, uh, and this is meat uh, uh, for example from meat of a cow meat of a gut meat of a cock chicken meat and meat uh, from uh, birds as I said, and meat of uh, snakes or lizards. It is a very uh, uh, danger and is a very big uh, area of life. Okay, and when we uh, eat under cooking infected meat we can get at cysts at cysts and pseudocysts the next one second and the food and drink with oocysts when uh, uh, this uh, uh, drink and food our drink and food or sometimes uh, a dust after the cats infected by a uh, uh, Oocyst after the cats, and the last one, no, not last one, uh, the third one, uh, it is a uh, transplacental from mother to the children to the child, uh, or congenital. Uh, okay, and we can get it in trophozoid life form. And the fourth and the last one, it is a uh, okay uh, uh, contamination of mucous membranes with trophozoid uh, wherever you can do that. Uh, for example, it is a laboratory infection and the last one it is a pathogen tc not last i'm sorry not last it is very important for you like a doctor's pathogen tc it is a two first first of all you must know that it has a latent form or chronic tox toxoplasmosis the commonest form without symptoms or with um, choreo retinis 
detected by the presence of uh, antibodies in the serum. Persons with uh, Latin form, uh, when subjected to immunosuppression from uh, whatever cause, uh, for example, immunosuppressive therapy or infection as AIDS, may uh, develop acute symptomatic infection. In women who are infected for the first time, in the first four months of pregnancy, the fetus may become infected. The baby may be aborted or dies shortly after birth. Uh, uh, leave uh, infants show sink or congenital toxoplasmosis, hydro, hydro uh, cephalus, uh, uh, encephalitis, or an, another cerebral or cerebral calcification or another cerebral diseases it is very bad very dangerous parasite as i said okay but the second um, time uh, pregnancy it is it is not danger to second pre pregnancy okay what's the next and the acute form or acute symptomatic toxoplasmosis it is present as um, uh, uh, exanthematose form or typhus like uh, fever with rash and uh, enlarged lymph nodes lymphatic form uh, enlarged lymph nodes liver and uh, spleen similar to uh, glandular fever and uh, cerebrospinal form uh, uh, we can see we can find a uh, meningoencephalitis meningoencephalitis and a uh, human in acute symptomatic uh, in acute form of toxoplasmosis can lost their eyes uh, uh, the human can be can uh, stay uh, blind uh, what is the diagnosis mm, first uh, frenzel uh, uh, intradermal test second serological tests uh, third isolation of the parasite by inoculation of laboratory animal uh, for example in mice or rats with biopsy material or lymph node okay how to prevent a toxoplasmosis Chow cooking of any uh, oh, uh, uh, when you cook in uh, any type of meat you can cook it uh, to final uh, freezing of meat to minus 20 for two days may kill the cyst uh, care or in handling uh, meat care in uh, handling meat care in handling cats uh, avoid contamination of food and drink with cat feces all cysts in cat feces can remain infective for a long period B uh, pay attention please okay and uh, I forget to show you how how it look uh, in a, uh, microscope it is a Four hundred X microscopy, and as you can see, these groups of cells are groups of Toxoplasma gondii, and as you can see, there are very, very, very small, very small cells, and 
very uh, very hard to uh, diagnose this disease in a human more than 30 uh, percent from all from seven how many uh, how many uh, humans seven uh, milliards of human in uh, on our planet yes and 30 percent of all humans on our planet are infected by toxoplasma gondii and this parasite can kill our immune system okay there is all for toxoplasma gondii